Buenas tardes. Estamos en Ecuador, Good afternoon from en Quito, Quito, Ecuador. Today we have with us Adolfo Mendoza Lege, who has been a senator in the first plurinational legislative assembly of Bolivia. He is a sociologist and academic who is currently in Quito to take part in the first official conference of progressives in Latin America. Thank you, Adolfo, for being with us today. Gracias a ti, Yolanda, y a la disposición. Adolfo, pregunta, en estos momentos, Adolfo, what is the balance of power of the opposition within Bolivia? En Bolivia, más claramente que en otros estados de América Latina, de la patria grande. In Bolivia, more clearly than in other Latin American countries, not only has the old party system of representative democracy or liberal democracy entered into crisis, but there was a total collapse of the party system. The only real legitimate party of the old system is the movement to socialism, and it's not entirely a part of the old system because it represents a union of social organizations. It's more like a political instrument rather than a political party. So in this case, the liberal difference between ruling party and opposition that we usually recognize in representative democracies is blurred. The ruling party and opposition now have new characteristics. It depends a lot on the current issues of a given moment. It's not something that falls under party ideology, but more like something that depends on the relationship between the government and the social organizations and movements. In this sense, we could say that an intercultural democracy is being born. The democratic and cultural revolution itself has transformed the patterns of this classical division in representative liberal systems between the ruling party and the opposition. Nevertheless, what we can say is that there are groups called opposition that take shelter in the private media and that respond to an old way of thinking, an ideology of the Washington consensus, of privatization, of the present-day plunder of our Latin American countries. And on the other hand, you have a government that in fact organizes the people and the social organizations politically. The capacity for political leadership of our president and the movement to socialism is organized in this sense. La capacidad de dirección política de nuestro presidente y el movimiento al socialismo está en este sentido de articulación. Is that maybe the reason why Evo said he wouldn't take part in the electoral debate that was held? Because his relationship is with the people's movement and not with the candidates themselves or the political parties? A decir verdad, es muy serio lo que ocurre en Bolivia por la... Not only that, to be honest, what's happening in Bolivia is very serious because of the inexistence of a responsible opposition. But that's not only because of the concept of a new democracy that requires a discussion with the citizenry, with the people, instead of a debate with politicians instilled with the past that only want to remember and propose what was done during the neoliberal past. But rather, there's another element that's crucial to understand the discussion with the Bolivian people and not with these candidates that have no real proposals. We're now altering the definition of state policies, and not only the policies of the government. Policies that look toward 2025, policies that pertain to the construction of a Latin American agenda for the whole region. For that, you need proposals that function as state policies. These people that represent the past in Bolivia not only aren't organized as an opposition, which can generate relevant alternatives, but they have a structural incapacity to think, to act, and behave in the political system, which prevents them from understanding that what's at stake are state policies. This is what has to be discussed with the citizenry, and the only one who can do that is our President Evo Morales, precisely because he represents the means of the organizations.
de las organizaciones.